sort of a handful from this week just there. That there are some weeks that can define a club for two, three years going ahead. It feels like this is one of those weeks and that possibly one of the biggest weeks for, I don't know, five, six years in Arsenal's history. We don't know that. Uh, we know that every week and every result and every match now it's um, is defining, as you said, the present, but as well the future of of the club and the competition that we're going to be involved in. We are aware of that, and uh, we're going to to make it happen uh, the way we dreamed it. And you've been involved in cup finals for this club as a manager. You've won cups, and you've won them as a player here. And that's really the last ten years for this club. Has, has been cup finals and the occasional Champions League qualification, but it feels like you've been building something that's now reached to a point, like you said, like you've worked for 10 months, but really you've worked for two and a half years to get to this point, to mm. have this opportunity. So is this, does this feel bigger almost than an FA Cup final? It feels different. Obviously, there is a final. There is not another opportunity. In the league, gives you opportunities every single week uh, to make some ground or take some more advantage. Uh, but we know that the, at the end, the, dec the decisive part is, is ahead of us. It's two and a half weeks to go, and uh, and it's in our hands. Dan, um, Mikel, um, Marcelo Bielsa, took on kind of godlike status at Leeds. What do you think you need to do to have? similar status at Arsenal? I don't know, but it's not something that uh, I have advised myself doing or, or feeling like I'm really happy with who I am and uh, and what I am at the football club. What I want to do is bring a lot of trophies, success and happiness to our people. Uh, not about what I have to do or how I feel, but for the club. And all those, obviously there's been different expectations at Leeds and Arsenal. What Bielsa did at Leeds, he just changed a long-held mindset where just things weren't going well. Mm. Do you feel it's a kind of similar job you've, you've, done, you've done here to change just the whole mood around the place? Well, what he did is not just the place. I think what Marcelo did is he, he transformed the energy and the belief in the city, in one city. And that's extraordinary. And for me, that's the biggest credit of what he did. And he did it with his own philosophy, his values, and everybody behind him. And that's why it was so special what uh, what they did there. But within your own part of like okay, North London, rather than mm. the whole city, do you feel you've done that in that in, in North London? We've we've come a long way of doing that, and I see a lot of positive signs that uh, that we are achieving. That is now how we feed that every day, and how we make it better and and grow and. And, and they start to get the bigger pieces as well. So just one more thing that. Obviously, for all that he achieved, he, he, he then left the club at Leeds. And I guess even with the confidence that the club are putting you now with the new contract, you know that one day it, it will be it will be finished. And there, there is no room for sentiment in football, regardless of what you achieve. The day I decided to be a coach, a manager one day, I said one day, whatever the project is, is a starting day, a finishing day. I don't know if I'm going to be 42, 45 or 76. But <laughs> one day is going to, to be finished and it would be a decision made by the club or a decision made by, by me. And these are the options and one of the options, 100%, is going to happen at some stage. And finally, we've got Harry. Obviously, the massive five days. Is, is the Leeds game going to be, you know, to look at now, it's going to be every bit as tough as the North London derby because of what's at stake? I think it's going to be a really tough game and, and looking how they've been playing the last few weeks, just watching the game back at Man City, you look at the result and you get very confused in relation to the performance and actually what happened on, on that piece. The players are aware of that. We know what we're going to expect on Sunday. And they're quite a physical team, which is yeah. something obviously that has been discussed a bit with some of the Arsenal but I mean, again, can you see your players, the way they're handling themselves better? I mean, even last week's game at West Ham, mm. the way, you know, during the second half and they get it seems to be physically stronger as well, well as mentally now. Much better, and there's the, the physical, the, the mental part of it, and how we combine these two as well, when there are clashes, or when there are moments that we have to toughen up, and I think we've come a long way on that as well, as a team. Okay, and the last one for me, obviously great news for yourself signing the contract, and you've explained it. Were there, have there been times in, in your spell here where you thought, crikey, there won't be another contract? Just emotionally, <laughs> when you know when the pressure was on, or, or is that something you're able to ignore? Is there, as I explained before, you have to be prepared for anything can happen. At the end, all depends on 
on results. So if you don't get the right results for a period of time, you know that you're always exposed uh, to that possibility. And when you do well and everybody's happy and the team is playing well, you are exposed to something uh, to be prolonged in, in that journey. And um, is the way I take it. But I mean, you spoke about outside influences, I think, earlier on this season and they weren't, there were some negative ones coming mm. from outside. But that seems to have gone as well. I mean, that and there are many, many more positive than, than negatives. And uh, I always say that, uh, and we have a great example as well with with the ex-players and all the legends and what happened a few weeks ago at the Emirates, which was emotional and, and is natural, is organic, it's, it's just happening. Because now I think, well, hopefully they have realized that everybody, anyone that wants to contribute to what we are doing, generally contribute and help and give advice or support or whatever, he's more than welcome to come. Anybody that is wants to poison the club, he's going to be very far away I mean, from the club. That's a huge thing, isn't it? To For us, it's some... For with the history that we have, if we don't use it, we are losing a big percentage and margin in relation to other teams. And we have that because we have so much success and incredible people and players in this football club history. And we have to encourage that to come back to the club and make us stronger. And that's my aim and the club's aim. That's yeah. it. No doubt they're all in touch about the North London Derby when they won the title there. That is phenomenal. Those experiences, how they won it, how they were invincible. For this generation, it would be something incredible. And uh, and hopefully we can do it naturally and with everybody feeling in the right place. Thank you. Okay, just in terms of the, of the timing um, of the announcement this morning, obviously you don't know which European competition you're, you're going to be in, but yourself and people at the club, maybe you have to look at the bigger picture. So. Getting the contract signed and, and sorted when you don't know, for example, whether you're going to be in the Champions League, does that mm. show to everyone, to you know, players here, players who might come in, that you're just a total confidence that the club is going like I think from everybody, from the club perspective, there is still this uncertainty of what we're going to do, but they still want me to be here, regardless of what happens. From my side, I don't use any timing, any power, uh, whether I am in Conference League or Europa League, or I am in the Champions League, uh, to be asking for something different and uh, and at least we can find a lot of clarity uh, with the plan that we want to execute together with the club. Can it just maybe have a galvanising effect ahead of these last few games as well, maybe just, just you know send that message as well to the players about you know, the strength of the group? And well, from my point of view, if I do it, it's because I feel the right level of chemistry, trust and belief from ownership um, because I have the staff and the players that they are always behind us and uh, and because we have some supporters that they have shown me once again um, their love and their support so when you have all those ingredients uh, the decision then it's is very easy just lastly um in, in light of the game next week obviously as as the derby has got closer obviously everyone knows what's potentially going to be riding on it your team obviously pulled out three successive wins in, in difficult games I just, I just wonder what does that tell you and what have you taken from that in terms of seeing their ability to produce those results under pressure, because as the derby gets closer, mm. the pressure rises as well. Well, the maturity, the resilience, and obviously the quality and the capacity that the team is finding now uh, to compete at the highest level under pressure and under difficult circumstances. And when you are in the edge, how you respond to that. And um, and it's been brilliant. Mikael, um, it's a slightly personal question, yeah. um, but I hope you don't mind it shows uh, the philosophy of the club. Is your contract heavily incentivized, or is it a basic rate contract, or is basically your success tied in with the club's success? <laughs> <laughs> I want to respond to your question. It is incentivized because obviously whatever we are able to do has a, an impact in what the club can do, and I think it's very fair. So, I mean, is it heavily? Is that one of the core things that you want? You know rewards to come for, for performance. Is yes, there is, there is a, a, a part on that, yes. And Mark, finally Mark. Um, we all know you're well, no more personal question. <laughs> <laughs> we all know you're terrified about sending Everton down on the last day. Yeah. Um, tomorrow, or Sunday, you can sort of give them a bit of a help by pushing leads for them to travel. I know hmm. you're not looking to do people favours, but obviously you can help yourself. No, because as well, uh, then you start to to touch the a really different uh, topic, and I don't want to do that. We want to win football matches, and whatever the consequences in the league are what they are. There are I've been myself in position where you have nothing to play in the last day, and you're playing against a team in relegation, but your duty and responsibility is to win the match, and, and you cannot just look too far on that. Okay, 
I mean, we presume you'll be watching Tottenham tomorrow. I mean, there's a fair chance you could, yeah, by the end of this week, there's a possibility you could be five points clear going into the Derby game. Is that something that the players are sort of thinking of, or can you not think about that? Obviously, when you get to the last few matches, not to start doing the maths, it's a, it's a, a difficult task. But uh, my advice to them, and the same one that I take normally, is, is not to do them because you rarely get them right. So let's focus on what we have to do on Sunday.